Hey everybody, we're going to do a Dutch pour today. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. Don't forget to put your tacks on the bottom. I put my tacks in the seams to keep my frame from cracking. My paint for my base coat for my white is two parts blow trial, 30% water, 1% acrylic. My acrylic is socks, heavy bodied. My colored paint is one part blow trial, one part acrylics, and 20% water. I'm going to be using yellow, a deep blue, an orange, and a purple. You want your base coat to be thin where your paint will flow on it nice and feathery. You don't want too much paint, but you need to have enough to really let your colors flow. That feels about right. When your paint comes out rippled like this and then smooth like this one, that means one's thicker than the other. I don't see anything that it does to my pores, so I don't worry about it. And here we go. That looks great. I got a lot of paint right here, so I'm going to get some of that up without messing my design up. You don't want to move your thing around in circles or anything. It will mess up your design. If you have a straight line you want to keep, you move your suction in a straight line. As you can see, I'm also separating my flower petals a little bit, give it a more definition. This came out beautiful. I love the purples right there. When this dries, I'll hand paint. that was feathery like this. It's getting better. That's better. Wow, that is so pretty. I don't like all that yellow right there. I'm scared to do something in the middle, but I really need to. I hope I don't ruin this, but I can always paint over the middle. cut this off a piece of thing you pull your hair back with and I just made it smaller. When this dries, I'll clean this up a little bit and I'll have it so funky, it'll be softer. This came out good. 